Hi guys, back again with me Austin from ABBA uh, Boy at Heart Today I'm going to show to you my experience on Hasbro Star Wars The Black Series 6 inch scale range trooper This is based on the movie Solo A Star Wars Story It was released on 2018 The movie was also released at the same time If I'm not mistaken So let's take a look at the packaging first This is the standard packaging of the Black Series that we've been uh, seeing throughout uh, so quite some time now uh, there's the artwork at the front the figure and then the rain the open window range trooper the black series the name of the line up here I like the uh, artwork at the front as always this is figure number 64 uh, nothing much on the side range trooper and then here's a bit of description of the figure you can pause it now if you want to read it all right so without further ado let's take a closer look at the figure itself all right i'm not an expert in accuracy and all this kind of stuff but from the reference picture that we have here I believe that this is a good representation of the trooper itself from the movie. Uh, the only drawback or the only weakness that it have it has is that um, if you see here, there is a noticeable portion. If you lift up the hand, the arms here, there's a noticeable part which is kind of weird, not according to the proportion of a human being which I can overlook because I think they have a reason for that is to accommodate these arms to move down like this okay with the arms down it's not really feasible but it's there so you cannot help but sometimes take a quick look at it anyway um, this trooper is supposed to be a heavy armored trooper uh, as you can see with all the armors here and there and is supposed to be able to withstand extreme weather condition and in this case and in the movie is an extreme cold snowy condition and so let's take a closer look at the details of the figure I like the fact that they put a little bit of wear and tear marks here on the helmet it looks good you can see uh, details of the helmet here and there at the back of the helmet and then this guy also came with some sort of poncho which is soft goods and I, I am okay with it because Hasbro has been doing something like this for a while now and I think it looks quite well let me try to take it off so that you can see it in case you're wondering this is how the poncho look like with the material uh, so what is going on here is basically we just need to put it through the neck like this and then we can always put the head back okay. I like uh, the uh, again another box here and there this is some sort of pockets here the backpack is cool you can see a lot of intricate details here which is nice to have always I think I like the the parts of the coast here you can see all the wrinkles and it it has the impression that this some sort of uh, overcoat is thick and uh, furry is that the right word some sort of uh, so, uh, something like that this part here is kind of molded to this whole portion I think so and by the way this part is strawberry we'll see how it affects the articulation of the leg later it is attached to come some sort of straps um, which hold the legs uh, kind of 
how the pilot's outfits jumpsuits. Then you can see that it has a trigger finger on the right palm, right hand, and then the gripping hand on the left. We can see how heavy duty this trooper is by looking at the leg here. We can see all the armors. Okay, seems very thick. And one thing that I like from this trooper is the magnetic boots here. Uh, I think in the movie it was being shown that these boots these magnetic boots also allow them to have a stable footing on a moving vehicle um, in an extreme weather condition so look at that design is I think it's very cool looks robotic to me which I like and with all little details here and there and it has articulation okay that's I think this is my favorite part from this figure We are also being given a blaster. I looked it up and it's called an E10R Blaster Rivals, which according to my our picture reference is supposed to be white color. But anyway, the sculpt is good. In my opinion, it came also with a trigger hole, but the paint is somewhat lacking. It's only uh, painted in kind of dark gray here. But other than that, it, it, it is nice and quite solid, it's not that rubbery, which is good. And the most important thing that it is functional, so let's, put, let's try putting it on the right palm of the trooper. It, uh, it works very nicely, the finger can be put into the trigger hole. And I noticed that there's a small handle here. Not sure whether this trooper is supposed to grip grip it like this, but it's still doable if you want to. Or of course you can do it the classic way. like this still doable so it's up to you I want to point out also that although the grip on the right palm here may loosen up over time but due to the design that the trigger finger can be put into the trigger hole it still holds very nicely or the articulation the head is on a ball hinge Join. You can see the hinge there, a little hinge. So uh, upward this much, downward not not so much, this much only. Side to side not so much. You can turn it around 360. Of course the poncho moves because it's a separate piece. Um, on the arms here you can see the hinge. You can move it up this much. Then you can always turn it around okay, the bicep here you can bend it this much almost 90 degrees you can turn it around I think it is 90 is it on the wrist you can turn it around but there's a catch to it there's a little bit of hinge there as you can see over there it's supposed to enable this uh, grip this palm to move up and down a little bit only because of the scalp and then also this one let's see whether it has something similar yes it does there um, a little bit of up and down over there and then on the abdomen here I think because the way it is sculpted you can only Turn it around 360. Other than that, uh, I think not so much. If 
unfortunately for the legs you can kick to the front not not so much and then to the back kick not so much as well it is pretty much hindered by the strap by this skirt piece like uh, you can open up the leg this much okay. and notice there's this joint there so you can turn the thigh let me try it okay 360 now the, the knee let me can bend this much not so bad I think and you can turn it around of course and the, on the magnetic boost we have this much downward upward only that much not much of a rocker and I think that's all for the articulation so the top of his helmet this figure stands for about 6 inch or a little bit above 15 centimeters so this figure stays true to its scale let's compare it to several troopers here this is the old black series stormtrooper this is the black series uh, that trooper okay that trooper is supposed to be the tallest among them and uh, let's compare it with Marvel Legends figure just for a scale uh, for the sake of scaling. Marvel Legends is supposed to be a bit taller. So overall, I really like this figure. Um, of course, there's a bit of an issue with the gap here. It's below the armpit, and uh, and a bit of articulation uh, problem on the legs which is not really a big issue for me this is still is a very nice figure and very playable figure to have so thanks guys for watching until the end if you like this video please like subscribe and share ciao